Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Philip. And today we have Blues Traveler, and this is a first time on the channel for us with Blues Traveler. We're doing the song Hook. So excited to check out something new. Yes. Uh, apparently there's some harmonica usage with Blues Traveler. That's yeah. what we uh, read about anyways and getting to know the group a little bit. Obviously, as our first introduction, we don't know much. We always no. appreciate your insights, guys. They're yes. always fire. And uh, this has been in the suggestions. There's been a few people saying that we got to get to Blues Traveler. Yeah. So um, this is why we've arrived at this one. I believe Hook is their most popular song, but mm -hmm. I've been wrong before. And you guys will let us know. And probably most popular or favorite song is dispute disputable yeah by i mean i think that people. that's subjective right like depending on what criteria you're using to classify as most popular yeah a commercially successful doesn't always mean people's favorite like or a best fan song. favorite yeah. yeah but anyways we've really enjoyed checking out new music along this journey mm -hmm. uh, it's this, so fun. uh this one is from 1994 mm. um so it's going to be interesting to check out a mid 90s sound this with we've some been of getting the rock into the appeal. 90s a little bit more recently yeah i think they do different kinds of rock so uh, i'm excited to check out something a little more modern rock rock feel modern still you know <laughs> you 30 years ago yeah. modern at this point <laughs> um anyways uh, i don't i mean i guess you know modern rock uh, really is stuff we've done from like shine down it's yeah you know, that's more recent but yeah um yeah so let me just take that back and say it wasn't modern rock <laughs> 90s rock we've been doing a lot of 60s and 70s you know so this no. seems like it's modern i guess in my head i'm like low-key you know living through the 70s in yeah. some sense so now <laughs> 90s is more modern yeah anyways enough with the chit chat let's get into some blues traveler hook all right let's do it
Only. I don't know where we're about to go, but we're going to pause it here. I'll run it back so we can listen to that harmonica solo again. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Have you heard many harmonica solos in your life, Samantha? Not, I had never heard any before we started this channel, and now maybe a couple, but. Yeah, uh, so that was cool. It was interesting. Definitely from the sound that they're providing with the rock feel. Um, you know, I can't say I've heard many of the 90s rock sounds that didn't no. incorporate a harmonica. So definitely not the 90s rock, that's for sure. <laughs> definitely a unique as a part of their genre mold. And uh, even I think they had a little little components of the harmonica used in some of the main riff sections, which mm. was cool. It's very subtle, and it mimics the electric guitar, okay. but I think they're using it still in the, harmo oh. in the um, main sections, Interesting. too. Interesting. I didn't pick that up, but that's cool. I'll have to listen to that in the next little bit. Yeah, so um, very uh, interesting video and song as a whole as well. Mm. I like the creative concept that they're putting together. I mean, the, the song is Hook, right? And so the visuals that we're getting, also the visuals give me that like 90s feel for yes, sure. Yes, definitely. Um, but the visuals that you're seeing is like the Hook being, we talk, saw obviously the politician, for example, and you know, what they're saying, what they're selling you, doesn't always end up being the reality yes, of what they end up doing. they're just trying to hook you in. They're just going to hook you in by saying whatever they need to say in order to get your vote, and then they're going to do whatever they want after they've got your got your vote. And yeah. uh, so that's the hook. Right? Yeah, and in the beginning, right, he was saying that, like, it doesn't matter what I say, I could be sitting here and saying anything to you. Like, I haven't even said anything in this entire verse, but just using the inflections in my voice and the way that I'm conveying what I'm saying is hooking you in and making you want to listen to what I'm saying, even though it's a bunch of nonsense yeah and so you know the theme there obviously maybe a little bit of satire for the music industry as a whole being that like you said i'm just using inflections i'm not saying anything in this verse yeah. you're still gonna like the song and listen the, to what i'm saying and yeah. it's still gonna be popular because as long as the hook sounds good that's all that matters yeah and even from the visuals so as well i don't know what they were conveying but i was wondering if maybe it was this cliche of this pretty girl yeah right this guy is looking at a pretty girl and doesn't care what she has to say or think or anything yeah, it's just, just like, she's just pretty being you know that's the hook yeah. for him yeah in that instance so they're you know speaking to him in light of that and he's just like i don't care what you're saying you yeah. just look good yeah and i'm just gonna sit here and drool over you basically. exactly yeah so i've been rambling for a while now any thoughts <laughs> that you'd like to add yeah i think it's definitely a really cool creative concept and and different right and i think that the harmonica was really interesting like you said that's not something that you hear all the time and mm -hmm. that's something that stood out for me um, I was having a little bit of trouble with the lyrics, with the vocal at some portions, because I feel like it's kind of gone up and down. So I was just picking up bits and pieces. So I'd probably need more than like a first listen to of get course, all yeah. of it. Um, I think, like I said, like this is something to me that's a really cool creative piece. I can definitely respect the artistry in this, but it's probably just not something that like I would like listen to all the time mm. because it's more of like a specialty, you know, like kind of like a creative piece opposed to like something that I think I would listen to because the lyrics have like meaning to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's uh, something I would agree. I wouldn't probably put it, you know, on my regular listening playlist. Yeah. But it would be also something, though, I could see being really popular on the radio and a hit record. And, like, you're just listening to it once in a while and everybody's going to like the song. And it's not a song that anybody really dislikes yeah. either. Yeah. So uh, I can see why it's popular. It's also probably would have been that comedic value yeah. as well, which was uh, resonated. But I really, like I said, when I started rambling on here, it has been... <laughs> The creative concept of it. Yeah, I really yeah, like, very unique. I really like when songs have deeper layers to them. Yeah. And this, I like how they've kind of done the video concept, mm -hmm. then and playing, making a hit record called Hook. Yeah. And then using the satire to create the hit record. Right? Yeah, so yeah. It's really well done in terms of all the pieces that they've put together for this. Yeah, for sure. And just having like a different message than just like the standard, like, you know, superficial kind of high level type um, music that some people exactly. made at the time. Yeah. So yeah. let's see uh, that harmonica solo again.
shit doing to me This MTV is not for free It's OPC, it's killing me So desperately I'll sing to the other love Shove it off, so raging pain and pain and fear itself And I can't keep these feelings on the shelf I try it, well no doubt I lie It'd be friends with suicide But I got too much pride inside You'll hide or slide I'll do as I'll decide And let it ride until I die And only then shall I abide This by to catch little tunes I get the minute ditties I wanna bust all your balloons I wanna burn all of your seeds to the ground I found I will not mess around Unless I play And hey, I will go on all day Hear what I say I have a prayer to pray That's really all this was When I'm feeling stuck in need of a God Don't rely on love Because I'm heartbreaking All right That was hard <laughs> Hard to keep up with so interesting that uh, he had a civil war book at the end because we just did some civil yeah, war videos yeah, so, yeah, as well learning about that so you're gonna say something oh i was just gonna say i feel like continuing to watch that i feel like with the because we were talking about the video at the halfway point yeah and i feel like you were talking about obviously the concept of what he was saying about the girls and the the politicians which i think is definitely accurate but i also feel like the overarching concept too is like because they kept showing that guy just sitting on his couch, right? And it's like people will just sit on their couch forever going channel to channel to channel until they see something that hooks them in, mm -hmm. right? And then they'll sit and listen regardless of how accurate or informational it actually is. And then, oh, I'm over it. Next channel, next channel, next channel, next channel, right? And that's kind of the concept of the hook because it's like you just keep going, like, rotating through until you get hooked and then it's always the hook's going to bring you back to get your attention. Yeah, so it was like three layers Yeah. on that. Crazy. That they put together from yeah. the visual and the the audio yeah. components. So uh, very well done from a creator. Mm -hmm. I'm really impressed by the song overall yeah. and the, and the video as well. That they did a great job in yeah. conveying that message. And yeah, um, like you said, I think that's totally accurate. You know, people tend to just try to find something that they can mindlessly watch and then at the end of it that's why it's like no I'm actually going to learn about something that might be a little more valuable yeah. than reading a book exactly and also like being somebody who is a very visual person I really like when the music video for a song like really connects with the song itself. I feel like there's a lot of music videos out there that are kind of just like random. Not that they're bad. It's just that like they don't really, in my opinion, have like a super deep meaning yeah. in connection with the song itself. Right. Whereas to me, like that was like a perfect um, example of what they're talking about. Yeah. And I think even, you know, what they talked about is representative as me for music as a whole today. Right. In that we're doing this reaction channel and, you know, reviewing music or, you know, certain media aspects that we haven't, been exposed to but we're diving deep into it and trying to really appreciate like yeah. you said the meaning of it or yeah. really listening to the intricacies of the music or you know trying to appreciate like with history you know the details of that so we're you know it's not just mindless that we're we're doing this with right and i think that's why music in particular was listened to in depth you'd throw the record on and you'd kind of just you know chill in your room with your buddies or or with your buddies at a party or something like that where you'd really listen to it and be like yeah. oh that was great that was so cool did you see how they did that right it was a, an experience it was a listening experience and yeah. you appreciated the musicianship and the artistry and now so much it is just background noise that we throw on to you know do something while we're doing Have something extra stimulation in our adhd brains that everybody has these days <laughs> exactly so i like when we do this because we get to sit down and really you know deep dive into what makes them special and uh, really Great. appreciate it for what it is and yeah. spend time together while doing it. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy spending time with us as well. So yeah. um, I enjoyed the song. It was cool. It was great creative concept. You as well. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Well, that means great artistry. That means that we both enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to join us on this journey that we're on when we drop two videos every single day. We drop different kinds of content, as I just said. And so we'd love to have you as a part of our journey. Come and, join uh, us. We'll see you tomorrow if you do decide. Thanks for watching, guys.